Hey guys, it's your boy Jackie. I'm back with another video. And today, if y'all cannot tell from the title of the video, we are going to be talking about customer services, aka, hence the title. Am I a Karen? Question mark, question mark, question mark. So, in today's video, I am filming this video on December 22nd, 2023. And yes, it is three days till Christmas. And yes, I happen to so call have done maybe some last Christmas shopping I have no clue why I'm talking like that but basically what I'm trying to say is that basically today after I got off of work I did some last second Christmas shopping as you know one does nowadays so basically yes I procrastinated and I did my Christmas shopping very last second but that is normal because a lot of people do end up doing their Christmas shopping very last second because that's just how life is because people be busy shit happens life happens and yeah it is what it is but that is not why I'm making this video I am making this video because I realized and it's something that I guess has always been a pet peeve of mine, but I have always hated terrible customer service. And basically today, I got terrible customer service. And mind you, I work in retail, right? I work in retail. I have my mom and my sister who work in the food industry and my dad works in the food industry. So basically my whole family works in uh, the food industry and me and my sister, we also work in the retail industry because my sister has two jobs. So mind you, when we go out or whenever, we are very picky on the service. We are very picky on basically how we are treated as customers, aka guests. So to prevent me from rambling too much, we're gonna split this video up into two parts. Basically, the first half is going to be me talking about the story time on why I'm making this video. And the second half is gonna be talking about why I'm very critiqued when it comes to customer service or basically questioning, you know, maybe I am a Karen, who knows. But with that being said, let's just get started with today's video. So like I said, today after work, after I got off at one, I went shopping because, you know, I work at the mall and I had to go run some errands I didn't get some last second gifts I went to Nike a uh, Nike was fine the line was just very very long that's just how it is it's the holiday season it's the weekend before Christmas because Christmas is on a Monday so it's the weekend before Christmas so naturally it's always busy this time of the year so that's not out the usual if anything they if anything Nike really had good customer service. The cashier was really nice to me. We had a good conversation. Um, yeah, we had a good time. By having a good time, I mean it was good customer service. So that was fine. So after that, I went to Crocs to get more gifts, and that is where I ran into the issue. First things first, when I'm getting into line, right, hear me out. I get into line waiting my turn to pay because there was lines. I'm not opposed of the lines. I'm a pretty patient guy in my opinion and so I didn't care about the line. The problem that I had, right, was that one of the workers took me out of the line that I was in to put me in another line that made me wait longer than what I really needed to, right? That was the only issue that I kind of had. And mind you, I had multiple issues at Crocs. That was the first issue I had. And the reason why it was annoying was because I got moved lines, right, thinking that I was about to pay next. I was second in line and I had moved places, right? Because I was paying in card and I guess one was paying with cash and card. They were trying to split up. Don't know what was going on, right? But basically I got moved. Didn't care of it. Didn't think of too much. It's their store. Follow the rules. But what annoyed me was that basically the guy who was at the register basically brushed me to the side, took another person instead of me, right? And then basically the two people behind me were able to get chucked out before me, right? That's the only problem that I had was that y'all moved me so y'all could get the order in the lines or whatever the fuck y'all were doing, right? But basically, I got skipped and I had to wait even longer than the people who were behind me, which does not make sense to me. That was red flag number one. Red flag number two was basically was when I went to the register, right? The Crocs that I was getting, right? Online, there were $49.99, but in store, there was $64.99. And all I asked, right? All I asked was, hey, do you guys price match? And then he said no in a rude ass tone. He was rude as fuck. He was being bitchy as fuck. Pissed me the fuck off, bro. Pissed me the fuck off. And yes, I could be overreacting um, a lot. And y'all might be calling me a Karen slash Kevin or whatever. I don't care. But basically, motherfucker, I asked you politely. I came to you very politely, very um, sincere. Because I work in retail. I understand. I match the energy with the customers. Right? So if I came at him at a malice intent and I was like, yo, why can't you price match? Oh, it's online is this, online is that. Oh, but why can't you price match? No, no, no. no I asked him a simple question. I asked him, hey, do y'all price match? That's all I asked for was just a price match because it was cheaper online. That's all I asked for. And he said no. And I was like, all right. And, but he was so rude about it. The way he was like, no, we don't price match. And like, 
Bro, all I asked was a simple question. And then the whole transaction was just weird. He didn't say a single word to me. Motherfucker was just quiet, rude. Like, it was just... It pissed me off, right? It pissed me the fuck off, and I left. His other coworkers were cool. I was able to have conversations with them um, because I asked them questions too. Because you know, you know, I had to ask questions. And but he was the only bitch, bro. He was the only rude guy. He was rude for me for no reason, right? And basically, I don't know if it was because of the person in front of me or whatever. But basically, he had no reason to be rude at me because all I did was ask him a question, and he is the one being rude to me. And for two, like his manager or whatever, his coworker moved me to his line. Right, I wanted to get checked out by the other person because she looked nicer. He would just look like a fucking bitch, bro, who pissed me the fuck off, bro. Pissed me the fuck off, right? And I'm definitely overreacting, right? But I'm only overreacting is because I work in fucking retail, right? I work in retail. My sister works in retail, and she works in the food industry. And my parents work in the food industry. So when it comes to customer service, I expect nothing but the greatest. I say that because me and my parents and my sister, we give every customer our best service no matter how we are treated no matter how rude we are talked to or whatever we treat everyone the same i can go on and tell multiple stories from my point of view my mom's my dad's or my sister's about times they have been disrespected for example my mom works in the food industry right so basically one time at work some guy bumped into her she spilt drinks on some guy's shoe and the guy basically forced her to pay her for her shoes giving him like $300 for them shoes. Being mad rude to my mom for no reason. And with my mom and dad too as well, another story is that they have been dined and dashed plenty of times, right? They've seen it all, right? Me, my sister, my mom and dad, we've seen it all. It happened to my sister, she's been dined and dashed. She's been cursed out by people. She's been, been treated poorly by people, bro. Like at both jobs, at her restaurant job and her retail job. It's just fucking crazy, bro, it's fucking crazy. My personal experience has been Hectic, it's been, a lot has happened within the past week or two. So basically, I work in retail, right? And we have been understaffed, as most jobs have been after COVID, right? So our fitting rooms can't stay open for too long, or we sometimes we have to push back opening the fitting room until people come in. And we get millions of people asking us questions. We get people who are nice to us, right? They just be like, hey, I have this Tron. Are you sure you can't open this? And then we'd be like, no. And then be like, okay, I understand. But then we have fucking Karens who would go off on us, basically saying, oh, why can't the fitting room be open, this and that? And when we tell them we can't safely operate the fitting rooms, they still don't understand and just be going off. They'll be like, oh, I'm calling corporate, this, that, and that, right? We can't just safely open the fitting room because it's not going to be safe if we don't have someone in there to make sure it's maintained for our sake and make sure all the, you guys are safe too because for one the store i work at our retail death is crazy bro people steal all the fucking time and i don't get paid enough to stop them right so that's why that's one way to prevent the stealing not saying every customer who's going in the fitting room is going to steal but it's just saying like bro we're trying to do the best that we can for y'all so basically when they get mad at me that i always tell them the next best option is always to purchase them, try them on at another store, and then bring them back if they don't fit so you don't have to go all the way home. And they still get mad at me, but that's just the best we can do. You know what I'm saying? I can't do everything in the store if I don't have a staff. I can only do so much. I can only do what I can control. So that basically leads me on how I treat my customers. When I treat my customers, I treat my customers with respect. I treat them with respect as long as they treat me with respect. I'm at the point where if they disrespect me, I'll disrespect them back. Like, for example, one thing that pisses me off is that when instead of handing me the money, they put that shit on the table and slide that bitch to me. Like, bitch, no. If you do that shit to me, I'm going to do that same shit too. I'm going to fucking get all the little coins, slap them on the table, and slide that shit to you, bro. Hand me the fucking money, bro. Don't be fucking rude, bro. And back to the food service thing, right? When I go out to eat, right, I understand food service is hard. And sometimes if the food's messed up, it's not the server's fault. It's the people in the back's fault, right? But I've had servers be rude as fuck for no fucking reason, bro. I've had plenty of stories. And that's a whole separate video if you guys want to see that. But yes, I understand working in retail and working in food services is hard, right? I understand. I understand. Trust me. The only thing that I don't understand is that why the fuck are you being rude, right? When you chose to be at that job, when you chose to work for a retail job, or you chose to work in this food service, right? That's on your choice, buddy. So for you to get mad at us, the customers, doesn't fucking make sense to me. I hate rude service. I hate bad service, bro. I hate just rude people in general, bro. I hate ignorant, rude people. Piss me off, bro. This is just a little rant video, and yeah. Does that make me a Karen? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Y'all can be the judge of that. Let me know down below if y'all think I'm a Karen. But I don't know. This today, 
I guess he just pissed me off too because I had worked a full shift and then I had to go deal with him. Like, bro, I had to deal with customers myself, right? And I don't know. I just treat people how I want to be treated. And I just, I guess I hate when I get disrespected. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to sit here and be perfect and be like, oh, I've never disrespected a customer. Yes, there's been times where I've disrespected a customer. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not perfect. I'm human. I make mistakes, right? So I'm not completely mad at him. It's just, bro, it's just frustrating because it's just like, bro, we work at the same mall, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't got to be a dickhead to me, bro. Like, I understand. We deal with the same customers, bro. I see people come in with Crocs fucking bags all the time. You probably see people who come in with our story bags all the time. So it's just like, bro, we in the same boat, my boy. Like, it's crazy. But yeah, that's just my rant, bro. Like, I don't know. That Crocs guy, bro, he really pissed me off, bro. I, he really grinding my gears and if that makes me a Karen I guess I'm a fucking Karen I just I just hate bad service I hate bad customer service bro that's like one of my pet peeves I hate that shit so fucking much but with that said though I mean it is the holiday season you know what I'm saying and I understand it's been busy all stories have been busy so I understand that like some workers are just tired right I work in retail so I understand I'm tired all the fucking time because I've been working crazy I've been overworked and it is what it is you know what I'm saying it's the job I chose to do and this is a job I got to deal with. So I got to deal with the good and the bad. So I understand. I understand working in customer service, food, um, retail. It sucks sometimes. But it's what we signed up to do. But yeah, with that said though, that's just my little rant right here. Um, I just had to get that off my chest because it is a holiday season. It's holiday shopping. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that has dealt with bad customer service during this holiday season. Because let's be real, a lot of, like nowadays... A lot of people don't really have good customer service. It goes back to that principle of treating people how you want to be treated. And people treat people like shit nowadays. And they think that's okay, but it's not. I'm going to tell you right here, it's not. You got to treat everyone how you want to be treated. And that's a fact. But yeah, with that said though, if you guys can get any life lessons from me today, is treat people how you want to be treated because, yeah, we live in a sad world. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. So enough of me rambling. And I'm going to just end the video right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe, share, and your boy is out.